Hi guys, welcome back to another YouTube AMA with Newton School. Today, <clears throat> again, we have a very special guest with us. His name is Jameem and today we're going to talk about him, his journey, his educational background, what made him choose Newton School, basically his entire roadmap to success. So, uh, first of all, welcome Jameem. I hope you're well. Yeah, hi Vanshika. Yeah. Like, uh, thanks for that. Yeah, I'm well. How are you doing? I'm good as well. So, uh, Jameem, we will be asking you a bunch of questions. It would be a very candid conversation that, you know, uh, I would be having with you. I would be asking you a few questions that the audience and the students of Newton School generally ask from the PACE students or the alumni. So, we would uh, start from your educational background, your progression phase, and then your post-placement phase, okay? So, what is your educational background like? So, yeah, uh, I did uh, complete my graduation in DCA in uh, year 2021. So, yeah, uh, since 2021, yeah. And, uh, like, after BCA, what made you, you know, switch to software development, a completely different domain? What made, uh, from where did you get that motivation? So, uh, like, actually, that was... Uh, like uh, that is like kind of a story like uh, less motivation but more of a like kind of a demotivation story so like once i uh, graduated in from vca then i was definitely looking for some jobs right so after that uh, i soon realized that uh, i was uh, lacking in all the technical latest technical skills and whatsoever it was so yeah on that journey so i started searching on like google and youtube so like how do i get into a good companies for as a like uh, software engineer all those things so yeah on that way then I, I found uh, some courses on YouTube and Google, but those things were like not aligned to like how to get a perfect like, schedule better, right? So like in organized way. So on that way, I discovered about Newton School. Yeah. So then my that's where my new journey of Newton School started. And did you also know any of your friends or acquaintances who you know who used to study at Newton School or anything? Definitely, yeah. So there was uh, some choice to my like before joining Newton School, as you know, like there were some other organizations also like we're providing the same boot camp and then uh, this uh, all these uh, things. But then I had some really good reviews from my like actually he was a like kind of common friend, friend of a friend, so who recently like completed his uh, boot camp from Newton School and he got placed in a good company with a good package. So yeah, so at that point I was sure about like. So, like, it is not only about putting my six months or seven months in some places. It's also about, like, will I be able to make it or, like, do they really, like, help you in those things, right? So, that was only my concern. So, yeah, I had a really good feedback about it. Right. So, uh, since you were not really uh, aware of the tech stack that we teach here and you were coming from a different background, which is... Uh, uh, which is not so related to the tech stack. So was it really difficult in the start of the course? So yeah, uh, in the initial phase, uh, it was uh, like I would say it was uh, difficult for me to get on the track aligned with all the things they were teaching. But all thanks to the instructors and the mentors, like how they pulled us and like bind together with their like what they are on currently on which page they are so like it took us a bit of time like one and a half months to get on the track but soon then i got my pace and like i started enjoying everything yeah and uh, what is it about the mentor group do you also have friends from that mentor group how do guys, how do you guys prepare and you know help each other and stuff yeah, Ishika. So, like, as I said, right, so, like, uh, starting initial one and a half months was, like, uh, kind of a bit difficult for me to get with all, used to all this technical stuff, right? So, like, it's, uh, like, memorizing the, even the syntax, so, because it was completely new for me. So, once I got used to that thing, so, then, definitely, we had friends in, in Newton School, so, we form a, like, kind of group in WhatsApp group, and so, like, still, we are even connected there, so, after, even after the classes, instructor classes, classes, and the mentor classes, so, we used to get connected connected over the Google Meet or some Zoom link. We used to get like, some. if I know something, then I used to teach them and whatsoever, like I am lacking behind and they know that thing. So like we used to like teach each other and like get completed on our like courses. Nice, nice, nice. So uh, again, like you said that you guys help each other to understand stuff and also you were uh, taking the help from the mentors and the instructors that help you to, you know, sail through. So now let's talk about uh, mock interviews. Did mock interviews help you as well? 
yeah definitely uh, yeah, so mock interviews was one of the major thing that helped like cracking the company so i will tell you what happened so like uh right but uh, after 3 to 4 like after the third month of uh, joining new school so what i thought like uh, we completed with the data structures and algorithms right so so after that uh, we shifted into full stack development thing node and front end so what i thought like uh, as i'm like, uh, kind of With in intermediate also what's over the level I am in currently. So what I thought plan was that uh, I'll start interviewing like with the companies. I'll start applying with the companies from outside. So that like so, uh, again that there was something that uh, I started working parallelly on the projects. So like basically on the front end projects. So yeah, so I added all those projects in my resume and I started applying for the companies. Uh, on that thing like my uh, in some companies my profile got shortlisted. Like I had also interview scheduled, but the thing was that like. I didn't had any experience like prior experience of interviewing the real interviewing experience, right? So there was maybe that could be like the HR interviews or the technical interviews. So I like failed miserably there. So just it was like just because I didn't had any experience and a kind of nervousness. So like soon after the our uh, front end and the Node JS and also the full stack thing like started to like end, right? So soon we started our mock. Uh, Mock interviews for HR and for data structures and for React, even for JavaScript. Right. So after completing all this, by the end of the time, like when we completed uh, my course and and new thing school at that time, like I was super confident about being interviewed. Yeah. Nice. So, uh, Jamim, I have heard some students, uh, you know, who have given more than eighty to ninety mocks. So, can you tell me honestly what what is the count of your mock interviews? Uh, to be honest. Uh, Like uh, initially in starting, like as I said, right. So starting, like I was uh, failing miserably in my in data structures and algorithms. So soon, like I gave, like started putting more efforts and more times into those things. So then I got the pace and like uh, in total, I was like thirty uh, to thirty-five mocks. It took me thirty to thirty-five mocks. Yeah, thirty to thirty-five mocks to get into this thing. Nice because. I will just give you an instance what happens. So, for example, there's a student person X who's coming from a CS background who has a little bit of knowledge of the tech stack, and uh, they don't have that much challenges as much as you guys have faced. They don't have to prepare as much as you guys have prepared. And when they go and give mock interviews after six to seven attempts, they start, you know, losing that motivation. So I want you to be an example to such people to understand that even if whatever background you're coming from, however difficult uh, the course is in the starting, if you have that willpower, you can easily sail through. You uh, look, we can look at you. You gave almost thirty-five mock interviews, did not give up. You thought that yes. we can give more right it is for your benefit itself we are we at newton school provide unlimited mock interviews as much as possible so if you are uh, if you can utilize that as much i believe that is really nice great nice so uh, let's now that we know about your preparation and mock interviews let's move towards your placement phase uh, tell me more about it what happened in the placement phase how did you prepare and how did you get your job uh yeah uh, so once the placement for the uh, phase got started uh, in newton school so like uh, i started getting the referral uh, from newton school guys right? so like uh, the very first company i appeared for i cracked that company right so that was like a big very big moment for me that like this was even my the first company that i have appeared for from newton school and i mean i have cracked that company but the things were like uh, i was looking for some more uh, experience like to sit for some more interviews and like to for other opportunities also so as i like said so finally i sat for multiple interviews in fact like i tried to, for applying outside of newton school also like through linkedin and all this so yeah the final company that i got placed into was that was through linkedin only so i got some sort of a referral for that company and yeah so there were multiple rounds for that company and finally i got uh, like uh, placed that placed in that company. Yeah, there were two two offers from Newton schools uh, side, like the placement that like I had uh, that thing. So, but I chose to opt for that program. Only the currently the one that I'm working. Nice, nice. I mean, again, one uh, another good example that you just you just did not rely on Newton school. You took initiative on your end and started applying. That is again something that I have not seen a lot of students doing. They uh, they think that. Okay, fine. Newton School is there. They are gonna help them, which we do. But again, if you want that job, you should have that willpower too. Again, great. Uh, it, it it is really nice 
talking to you, Jameem. These points have really influenced me as well. So yeah, uh, we would be asking you one two more questions, and then I'll be wrapping up the session. I understand it's a working day, and you managed to make some time. So uh, Jameem, one last thing: post placements. How is life? How are you now feeling as a software developer? And how how are things at family? Is everyone proud? Is everyone happy? Yeah, definitely. Uh, my parents and all the family members are like uh, proud about this moment. Like so, like since after BCA, like what was the thing was that literally I was struggling for that thing. So now six months down the line, like I'm in a position like where I got placed as a software developer. So like definitely that is a, like a like a new moment for me, right? So like I couldn't have thought for like becoming as a software engineer. So like that was the like big moment for me. And yeah, talking about uh, my current organization, yeah, I am enjoying my work there. Nice, because I believe uh, once you did your BCA, and uh, if you were struggling to you know get a well-paying job, and then suddenly uh, you start studying for another six months, the pa um, your parents must be thinking, what is he doing? And after six yeah. months, when you get placed as software engineer, they must be surprised that you have not done B Tech. How is it possible? Exactly, nice. that was most of most of the. Relatives and those reactions that how this has happened. Yes, nice, great. I, I feel really nice talking to you, Jameen. Uh, the last question of the day for you would be: If any viewer or any audience who is watching this video and is just one step away to make a career in tech, what would be your advice to him or her? So uh, the first thing would be like uh, it should be interested. In the thing like he is willing to do, right? So the it, that he should be genuinely interested in like what he is trying to achieve. So if it is his cup of tea, like he wants to try, like if it is like not just giving a try to like just because his one of his friend is earning lot as a software developer, so that he wants to switch a career or just just want to make. That's not that's not that shouldn't be that thing, right? So if he is genuinely interested, then he can definitely take up this a career. As is like choice, right? So if you have the willpower, I believe you can become a software developer even in six months. We have an example exactly. in front of us today. Thank you so much, Jameen. It's uh, it's great talking to you again. Thank you. And uh, if you are in Bangalore, please come and meet us. We would really like. Yeah, to I'm in Bangalore. Yeah, definitely. Like I've been trying. I was in contact with some of uh, uh, that uh, teammates there in. Uh, Newton School, right? Some people yeah. from that. Oh, my especially my POCs and all other. So I have been yeah. in contact with them. So definitely, I will. Sure, sure, sure. Thank you so much, Jameen. We will stay in touch. I'll see you again. Thank you so much, guys. Who's, whoever is watching this, it is. Uh, it has been a lovely 15-20 minutes time with Jameen. I will see you guys again with another guest. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye, guys. Bye, mm -hmm. Jameen. Yeah. Bye. Yeah.